Twitch might say yeah. thank you very much, spray and pray through. Janna was the support pick here for Zero. We've already seen him on that. And you once again will pick up Syndra. Game three with Syndra yeah. got them the win. Breakout champion of this series, breakout champion of the split for you in the summer this year. Having a dance, having a taunt. Could be some trouble oh, here. Oh, Uzi getting hooked here very early on. This could be someone has burnt. Ignite's already down. Uzi jumps away, gets the shield from zero. That means that you and Cleelov will simply back off Horn. However, he does get a bit of a beat in there. It's Cleelov diving in. Oh, he's taken Pierce from nowhere, but he's going to have to flash. And there's the damage with the ignite from you to claim first blood for EDG. Oh, and a stun on Insect. Wait a minute, Insect. That could be a red buff going over now to EDG. The gank, yes. They didn't want to have that to happen because they didn't expect the Lantern to come in. But I wonder if he's actually pushed too far now. Let's see the chase. Yeah, this could be dangerous for him. Clear love, red buff on will pop the ultimate. And he's got to oh, go dear. chasing. They know that Cole is in those rushes some way. Just spots him. Slow comes down, equalizer as well. Can Cole escape? He gets the root prison in there. Slow from the harpoon. And Coro burns him down. EDG taking advantages on every other part of the map. Again, Uzi barely escapes death. I mean, you have to walk in for this one. Flag Drag will come up quickly, though. There's Name. These are the plays they want. It's going to go onto a pink wave, though. Shockwave hits. They fight Name. They almost lock him down, but he's not going to be hit up. Yes, he finally goes down to the burn. The fight continues. Koro now onto zero, but he gets monsooned away right into the team. What an ultimate coming in from zero. And that's going to stop the dragon for now. Two down for EDG. Name has been questioned for his positioning ever since he stepped foot on the world stage here. And again, he pops up at the wrong time, tries to get the catch. Might have to just back away and leave it. Let's have a look. He's already down to half. Uzi will tank it up with the help of the shield. They're going to finish it off the TP. He made it He will come through. Uzi now going to be locked onto by Clearlove. He's already used the jump. Will flash actually as well from that. It's a double kill coming down as Korn and Zero both die. Just been a and flash thrown through. But there are four men there from EDG. We can make that five now as you will join in as well. They have five men on that top side. Finally going to go around to clear out a couple of wards. And they're going for Name. He's been caught out again here. Can he escape it? Insect though, going to be burst down. Koro might be able to escape. Three-man shockwave. Hook on to Korn. FTZ goes through, but he will go down. Is this the turnaround that they're looking for? Korn still trying. There's the job. So He's going for Koro. Blows him away. Gets the kill. Gets the reset. Uzi, is he going to do he stays alive here, and now they're going to keep going. You, he will surely fall. No, he can walk away. It's a messy, messy four for three. Uzi is a walking god of League of Legends as far as this is concerned. Jumping in to that many people and surviving once again. No one gets hit by the stun, and you just reveal themselves to Uzi. So far as time alone playing in his favor. One more shot, and Uzi picks up 3-0-3. Three, Solidifying another kill, bringing the game to 7-7, seven to seven, and the 1,000 gold lead is now in favor of Royal Club. That fight started so heavily in the favor of EDG, but like these teams uh -oh. go, it's not over yet. Teleport, here comes Koro, speeding it out. Oh. Who's he going for FTZF? This time he won't be alive for long, though. And that is the kill for Koro. I don't think EDG are going to commit to this kind of thing, though. Safe pushes for now. They Name stuck. goes in. Name oh, on through. They they they've got him. They've got him. Name jumps on there by the cataclysm. Shockwave comes down as well, but they've killed off the AD carry. It might surely just turn around for Baron now. Syndra plus Twitch. QSS be damned. They get enough damage on him with the equalizer at the end to finish off the biggest threat from Royal Club Uzi and they burn the Shockwave. They're gonna try and burn this Baron down as quickly as possible. That Shockwave being down is huge for this start. Oh, no. It's also a scattered week that could stop them from coming in. Will they try to go over the wall here? There's some flashes still. That's clear love over the wall. Now he's in the, oh, whoa, whoa, he gets exploded and the Baron's dead. Cole is gonna walk out, but only so far. That's a buff transfer over to you. That's a continuous fight for him now, if they can get in range. That's but that's two for one. I saw Uzi being down before. Flux. Oh, flux, yep. And just blew him up. Let's check this out one more time. Hooked. He sees Name. Not only did he avoid some of the damage, 
he just gets point blank. Name had no chance there. Wouldn't be surprised for them to go in with those up uh, either. Oh, yeah. Gordo goes in a face check. A straight face check going into the river. He's going to go down. The Rumble Ultimate had just come up as well. And it looks like they're still waiting on Twitch's all That rat attack attack cannot be used here. This they're going to so go aggressive. full four on it. They're going to try to pull in EDG for this one. The Zanias are there to get in and kind of misdirect the damage in the plays. But will they even get the chance? Will they turn? Right, looks like a bit of it. Out, clear of that. Beam blown away. Back. And there is the Baron picked up by Royal Club. There's still 30 seconds. And it's EDG trying to force them out of the base. Uzi hanging on the right side with a nice BF shield. Their Bloodthirster shield to keep himself up. In order for EDG to push them out, Twitch has to open up, which would leave a vulnerability for Royal Club to pound them down. And they just give up the inhibitor with an activity. The diving in, they're going for clear up. There is the uh, insect diving into them. Clear up gets his guard in there. Shot wave, shot wave, pull back. FDZ for fall as well. It's two men down. Whoa. Uzi goes in there. Name is at the back, chipping away with a rat attack, but that might not be enough to hold them in this game. Stun to Uzi, quick silver sack, that could kill be for it. Uzi. Nami gonna be locked up, Nami goes down, and it's all now on Koro. They dive on him, triple kill for Uzi. It's Royal Club that do it the hard way, but go through to the semi-finals. So much win right there for Royal Club. Not only do they move on to the semi-finals, they break the insect curse, and they crush EDG in game five. Peace and quiet was what wow. Uzi needed to come into this game. He took it upon himself to take a little extra time. Silence, in this case, did not cause chaos for the team. And they were able to come out on top. Being dictated around for the first half of the game, it was the initiation from Insect Top where he died for Uzi to get going as Uzi just flies into the fight. And then it gave him the confidence to do it continuously. And what a roller coaster of emotions for both of these teams, honestly, they fought Absolutely. tooth and nail until the very end. The fifth game, the closest of them all by a long shot. And honestly, one little mistake here or there could cost them. Whether or not Cola can flash and finish off Name, whether Koro can have the wards in the right position and not get caught out, whether a Cinder stun lands instead of misses, all these things could have changed this series. The question was the featured matchup for that best ADC in China. And I think it was answered that Uzi stepped up quite a bit here in this best of five series. He was absolutely amazing. Honestly, there were a couple of games there, obviously.